Hello everybody, how's it going? We're talking about Joe Malone fragrances. Now, to me, with my upbringing, Joe Malone is a very popular brand to Filipina aunties. Like, they will have a Joe Malone fragrance and a Chanel bag. That is the one-two punch. That, and they're probably like five foot two. You know what I mean? So that screams Filipina auntie. Now with Joe Malone scents, they are nice and they're great to gift people that are not into fragrances because there's so many offerings. There's so many, like anybody can find a fragrance that they enjoy with Joe Malone because they have the safe stuff like the Lily Peony fragrance or something and like the Nectarine Honey Blossom scent. And then they also have things like Murin Tonka for people that love Joe Malone and they're like, oh, I want something more daring. Then they try Murin Tonka and they're like, oh shit, they don't have to leave that brand or that house to find something that will fit what they're looking into. You know what I mean? I feel like Joe Malone is a great kind of like stepping stone house because it's great for beginners, but also like as you're starting to find out what you like and you're trying to build your collection with different sort of scents, there's there's lots of options there. Now for me personally, Jo Malone fragrances have poor performance on my skin and I do find them somewhat forgettable, honestly speaking. There's nothing about them that I find to be very daring. Yes, Murin Tonka is probably the most daring scent that I've tried from them. But even with that, I'm just not really a fan of myrrh in the beginning. And even with Tonka Bean, like those are two like fragrance notes that I could care less about. I mean, I'm not really attracted to them. I'm not like, oh damn, that's a sexy smell or that smells really good. Um, I get that it smells different, but just not my vibe really. Now with wood and sea salt or wood sage sea salt, something like that. I'm probably getting these names wrong, but using the right words, different positioning, but yeah, that one, like, it's nice. To me, a lot of the Joe Malone's, Malone scents are great if you're looking for an everyday, sophisticated type of fragrance. You know what I mean? You want something that smells a little bit high class that you can wear every day without totally breaking the bank with a niche fragrance. And you're a beginner, okay? If you're somebody already into fragrances, I don't think Joe Malone is something that you'll be too wild about. You know, they, they might be too safe, like they might be playing it too safe in their little sandbox. But yeah, for me, Joe Malone isn't really a house that I'm like, oh, I wanna get their fragrances and add them to my collection just because they don't really stand out to me. But again, a really good house to pull from if you're trying to give gifts specifically to women. Now, there are a lot of fragrances, like I mentioned with wood, stage, and sea salt that a lot of guys enjoy as well. They're very unisex. Um, so really you can't go wrong there. But yeah, solid solid house with good offerings for for beginners, in my opinion. All right, let me know what you think about Joe Malone and let me know how it performs on you because with me, it's just, if I had better performance, you'd probably hear me talking about them more. But anyways, have a good one. See you in the next video. Bye.